Hi guys, welcome to HR Fundas and I am Disha. Have you ever come across a situation where you have been looking for a candidate since ages but you haven't been able to close the position? Or you have a candidate sitting right in front of you but he is nothing like the job description that you had in your mind or that you had sent. So let's take a look at what can be the possible reasons of not being able to find the right candidates or what is an effective way to write a job description. I have also enclosed a sample format for your reference. So let's find out what is a job description. It is a basic description of the responsibilities or the duties that the employee will be required to carry out once he joins. So it gives the candidates an idea about their job and their day-to-day -day activities and also their key deliverables once they join. It also helps the candidates to decide whether they want to work for this position or not. So there might be certain uh, jobs that they might be willing to do and some jobs they might want to avoid. So it helps or uh, it is the first screening stage wherein the candidate will decide whether he is interested in the job or not. So the job description should be specific and it should be consistent for all jobs. So it best, it's best that you have a format and all job descriptions should be written in the same particular format only. Why is it important? So a well-written job description can make a huge difference in your hiring process. It attracts the right candidates. So you should not just looking, uh, you should not just look at copying uh, the job description from various jobs or maybe Google it and you can just copy and paste it. Uh, it will not serve your purpose because the job description or the responsibilities have to be specific to the requirements that your organization has or the employees manager has. So discuss the key deliverables of the position with all the stakeholders. So if the person is at a manager level or at a senior level, so it's important that his HOD approves. Also, the CEO might want to get involved and give you a go ahead before you finalize the job description. It will be a good idea to talk to the team as well so that they can also help you understand the roles and responsibilities or their expectations from the role. Now, what should be included in a job description? So these are some basic things that are a must in the job description. In the absence of these uh, key points or key information in the job description, your job description will not really serve the purpose that it should. So the first one obviously is the job title or the designation. Now, if you have uh, very uh, funky designations in your organization, then it's best to write whatever is the industry equivalent of that designation. Only then you will be able to hire the right uh, candidate for your position. Location of the job, again, it's very, very important because uh, that's what candidates want to know. Not all of them will be willing to relocate to other locations or they might be looking for some specific locations. So uh, location, uh, the location of the job should be mentioned in the job description. Qualification and the desired experience for the job. Compensation and benefits. This is again a very, very important factor for the candidates to decide. In some organizations, although they will have fancy designations, however, their compensation range is not uh, great. So in that case, if the candidate applies and you start interviewing, it's a waste of everybody's time. So if you don't want to give them a proper or a specific uh, compensation you can give them a range so that they know whether they would want to go ahead with this job or not key responsibilities so that the employee or the candidate can figure out whether this is what he is doing or he would like to do or not job requirements so let's say your job requires the candidate to be standing full day because it's the requirement of the job or it requires a lot of travel or it requires night shift. So whatever are your key requirements from the job that should be mentioned upfront. 
reporting structure so who will the person report to and if he has a team even that can be mentioned here companies information so you can just share the uh, website or you can just write two or three lines about the organization so that the, uh, the candidate can uh, understand a little bit about the uh, organization and then the last one is how to apply so even if you've given all the information but they don't know how to get in touch with you then this entire exercise is a waste so these nine points are extremely important all of them are important you can't just skip any one of them if you want to make an effective job description so all this will give the uh, candidate an idea about what working here will look like what kind of a job can he expect and what kind of a life will he expect so this will help you paint a picture of the entire job now there are certain key points that you need to keep in mind when you write the job description so keep it short and specific mention all key details however you can just put the uh, information in bullet points there's no need to write three to four pages of job description because nobody has the time to go through such a detailed and lengthy job description even if you put it there is no guarantee that the candidates are going to read the entire document keep it simple include essential functions so if you have certain uh, jargons in your organization then please avoid putting them in the job description because if it's specific to your organization then outsiders will not really know what it stands for and it will only add to the confusion job responsibilities should be in sync with the designation so don't hire a manager and expect him to work like an executive take orders uh, uh, you know just do the paperwork he should have certain decision making abilities and uh, roles where he can take decisions he can evaluate situations so your job responsibilities should go as per the designation don't use jargon specific to your organization include 8 to 10 key functions so try to keep it uh, to the bare minimum so if you write a 7 to 8 it's good enough but if there are certain more uh descriptions or responsibilities that you would like to add so 8 to 10 is a good enough number write in a logical sequence so if you are for example if you are talking about an hr manager's job description so if there are three four points that relate to recruitment club them all together so that there is a continual uh, it's continuous and it's in a sequence write in the order of priority so if you are hiring for an hr generalist role and you think that 60% of the job responsibility includes recruitment then the first point in your job description should be recruitment and then you can add employee engagement or um performance management now how to make it more attractive how can you make your job description more attractive so give a brief about the work culture but here you should have a good work culture only then the uh, candidates will get attractive attracted so you can just uh, maybe uh, use some pictures or maybe you can just uh, write one or two lines about how exciting the work culture is use an actual picture of employees having fun so that can be used as a wallpaper or as a backdrop of your um job description include the perks or benefits attached to the job include insights of the company's glorious past and present and the exciting future that lies ahead so if you have big uh, campaigns coming up or big projects coming up then you should definitely highlight this in your job descriptions uh, so that the candidates can get an idea of how big the role is going to be and how much scope of learning and um uh, promotions do they have if they start working with you now now let's look at a format so this is a key information that i have mentioned so the designation is manager hr if it's a, a specific role uh, so then you can mention recruitment or employee engagement or compensation and benefits or um, labor laws or uh, if it's a generalist then you can mention generalist role experience is 10 years or whatever is your experience requirement location 
Mumbai qualification MBA in HR, good at handling a team, salary can be up to 15 lakhs. So here uh, you can maybe put it from 12 to 15 lakhs. Candidates with service industry experience will be preferred. If you have any specific requirements, then you can put this here. If not, if you're open, then you can even write candidates from any industry can apply because by the time you have uh, you have reached a manager position or you have about 10 to 12 years of experience, you are already dedicated to one industry. So you will look for jobs in those industry and only those industry people will hire you because you have an in-depth knowledge of the industry. But if you are okay to uh, experiment or look outside of your industry, then you can mention that. Now, roles and responsibilities. So let's say what is the HR manager required to do? As I mentioned, we will only mention the uh, bullet points and not a detailed uh, word by word description of what he's required to do. So manage end to end recruitments, maintaining employee relations, communicate performance expectations, manage performance appraisal system, Ensure all HR policies and procedures are complied with. Here, if you want the person to uh, come on board and prepare policies or implement policies, you can mention that. Roll out and oversee the compensation and benefits package for the employees. So here it clearly means that the compensation and benefits package either is not there or they want it to be uh, re-implemented and hence this person will have to work uh, towards this so he should have a good understanding of this entire compensation and benefits process reporting of hr data or analytics handle legal statutory or labor compliances so here if you see it it uh, encompasses all the major functions that the hr manager is required to do now there is no need to mention uh, small things like you have to manage the uh, leave of the employees or you have to carry out uh, the um, if, uh, filing of the appraisal uh, forms or issuing letters or uh, putting in the data in the software for their increments. So there is no need for all these kind of uh, pointers here. This is a good enough job description which will give the manager, a, the candidate a good idea of what he's required to do. Now the call to action that means so if the candidate is interested what exactly is he required to do here. So if interested please share your updated resume with a recent photograph on whatever your email ID is you can share that or you may call on you can share your mobile number so in, in case you I mean it's an urgent position or you don't really mind candidates calling you directly and connecting with you then you can also share your uh, uh, direct number if not your direct number you can give your board line number so that the candidates uh, can get in touch with you if they feel the need to please do visit our website so it's it's good that you direct them to the website so sometimes uh, the candidates don't really know what the company is doing and they don't really know that they have to go through the uh, website so it's good that you direct them there so that they will uh, it will click to them that they have to go to the website before they come for the interview and they can find out more about the organization. You can also ask them uh, to follow you on your social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. So that they are aware of your company culture. They can keep getting updates. Even if you want to post positions on the social media pages, even those uh, these uh, candidates will get to know about these updates uh, on an ongoing basis so even if they don't qualify this time they will always be able to uh, keep themselves abreast with whatever is going on in the organization so i hope uh, these are good pointers for you and it will help you make a good job description for your uh, different jobs that you have thank you so much for watching and bye bye